All right, good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I got this Dokio solar panel, 220 watt mono, high efficiency. I picked this up probably a few weeks ago to replace the one that I had, which was 120 watt. This one here is 100 watts more because I have the EcoFlow Delta and I need something that's got a little bit more power to power that or charge it. So I'm hoping that with power usage, if there's decent sunlight out, it should keep up because the cooler I got, which is a cooler slash freezer combo in my Jeep, draws a lot of power. So weekend would definitely kill the battery. So let's have a look at this. Let's get all the package carefully. It says fragile. You gotta be careful with the knife because we don't wanna cut into the panel itself. Side of this open. Okay, we got some cables. We got a box. This must be the panel right here. I'm not a fan of the styrofoam packaging. I wish people would get away from that and use something that's a little bit more environmentally friendly this is the charge controller oh wow, that's kind of nice so what comes in the package this is for your battery connection right here these are little adapters, plugins. This is the one that's gonna come right off of your solar panel, this long one, which is really good because if you see this connector right here, zoom out so you can see it on the side of my EcoFlow Delta, it has that exact same plug. So I can just plug the solar panel directly in it. Right, this thing's actually quite large, so I'm going to take it outside and unfold it. The solar panel is quite a bit larger than my other one. I just plugged in the charge controller. As you can see, it's fluctuating between high 13s, 14 volts, which is good. I really need to test something out, which would be most likely the next time I go camping. But I like it. That should keep everything that I have powered up with no issues whatsoever. I really like that charge controller. It's very good quality. All right. Let's see if I can lay it on the roof. It's not much sun, if anything. And plug it into the side. See what happens. Just using my drone and doing real life testing of the solar panel. Sky has been filled with forest fire smoke, so I'm not getting very good lighting. But nonetheless, it's still going to try it out and see how it's going to perform. Because when I'm out camping, this has to keep everything I have powered up. It is a 220 watt panel. There's like no sun that's blocked out from the smoke, but gonna be using about net zero power. So I got about 50 watts coming in and output is 40. So I'm gonna be on the plus side for right now, which is good. Cause I need the Delta to last all weekend. As I talked about before, this cooler right here uses a lot of juice. So I had to move the Jeep. As you can see, 
we were pretty shaded. But now I come out here and I'm pumping in 130 watts. So that's gonna start making that charge up pretty quick, so it's five hours. So the light's not exactly perfect. Got the solar blanket up. Using the Dometic cooler has been the lifesaver. 85% overnight, even with this light, producing 94 watts, two hours to fully charge. Over the past little while, I've been experimenting in using this 220 watt panel. I have not come anywhere close to seeing that kind of power, I mean, because I've just been laying it flat. But I have been getting about 130, 140 if the sunlight is good. As far as being paired with the EcoFlow Delta, I think I have it dialed in now that if conditions are good, I shouldn't have to worry about power because that solar panel will keep me charged up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.